<laughs> okay, so welcome to Ballet Sculpt teaser video number two. My name is Kenneth Crouch, and this is my guest dancer here, gracing us with his presence, Brian Bose. And Brian is basically going to be my um, stand-in model for all of the sequences we're going to do on the video today for you guys. So thank you, Brian, for being here. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we actually just did the whole practice together, the full like hour and ten minutes of it, yeah. and um, it was a big sweat fest. So how are you feeling? I feel great. I feel energized, but I feel like I got my butt kicked. <laughs> good. Good. Um, I always like to try my method of bar out on other dancers and just to see how it feels on their body and what they like about it. What was the piece of feedback that you had for me, Brian, that you liked about it? Uh, what I love is that it's a great blend of dance and fitness, which is exactly what I want. I don't want just pure fitness because that can become a little stale, Yeah. but adding the dance to it makes it more free and you get lost in it. Beautiful. Yeah. And speaking of getting lost, mm -hmm. this workout is best done with music. As I've said in the Ballet Sculpt teaser video one, go on my Spotify, Ken Crouch. I have tons of Ballet Sculpt music on there that you can play for this workout we're going to show you. Mm -hmm. So that's really huge. Also, protect your feet. We're wearing toe socks, as you can see. Ah, <laughs> you guys can wear toe socks too. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just great to give you the support you'll need to do these types of movements. Mm -hmm. Now, dance, fitness, also yoga comes into play in yeah. this workout, but it's mainly as a bookend, so it's in the beginning and it's in the end. Mm -hmm. So for you guys who are maybe doing this practice at home with us, be sure you warm your body up and pull your body down before and after with some yoga or some other light movements. Mm -hmm. Um, just to get you ready because we're going to basically take you right to the bar, right into some peak strong ballet type movements. This teaser video is meant to be um, chronologically going after the first teaser video that I put out. So the first one was like the more mellow, warming up small movements at the bar, the weight stuff. Yeah. And so now we're going to bigger ballet movements. So hope you enjoy. Take care of your body as always and only do what feels good. Ready, Brian? Ready. Okay, let's <laughs> go. So we're going right to the bar. One hand on the bar. In a third or fifth position, so basically one foot is crossed in front of the other. And Brian's standing really nice and tall in his clean ballet-esque technique, his shoulders right over his pelvis, working his turnout, inner thighs forward, tailbone long, and head beautifully stacked right on top of the body. Great. So let's do a classical traditional ballet arm out to second position. Great. And we'll do tendu three times slow to the front. One, two, three, and then demi plie, bending of the knees, heels stay grounded. Then we'll go to the side, tendu for three. And tendu basically means just to stretch and demi plie. And then to the back, tendu for three and the demi plie. And notice when his legs are straight and then to the side again, he's really pulling up and in through his center to stay as long as possible. Demi plie. So that's one round, and then the second round, we'll do it at a double time. So it's basically just faster. You're welcome to take it slow again, or you can try to speed things up. And one, two, three, demi plie to the side for three, demi plie back, demi plie, mm -hmm. and side, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. And demi plie, and then we'll relax his arm and just take a deep breath there, okay? So that's the beginning part. For the second part, why don't you just step back slightly, so you have a little more space in front of you. And you're gonna point front and find your fourth position. So in fourth position, the weight is equally distributed front to back, right to left. You can keep it closed or you can open it up a little bit so maybe it's more like your heels are lined up. Perfect. And we'll just demi plie here like a little bouncy bounce style. And as he does this, he's going to pour to bra with one arm. Very smooth ballet style. Just so he's really comfortable. 
and finding some grace in the movement while he's semi cleaning and continuing to build heat in the legs. And then reverse the quarter bra out through second, fourth, third, and down one more time. Up, forward, and down. And then straighten the legs. Take the outside arm that's off the bar back to a second position from straight legs, 10 releves. So lift up and down. He's gonna do his best to keep the legs straight and strong and the weight in the big toe ball mount really concentrated so that the whole inner line of the leg is active and supporting. And whenever you get to 10, you're gonna hold it up there. Beautiful, take the arm up high to a fourth position and then demi-plie in your releve and he'll pulse right here. So not wrong, just demi, yeah, and just pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Weight in the big toe ball mounds with the knees going out wide. So think inner thighs forward. This is not easy, okay? Right, Brian? Mm -hmm. This is a very challenging position of the legs. So he's doing a really good job keeping it nice and clean. Beautiful. Now from here, let's have you come to flat foot. We're going to put a video to one flat. Mm -hmm. So I want you to shift your weight in a little more toward the bar and then take the front foot forward so you can find that baby attitude position. And you're just going to stay flat on plie for your supporting leg. And just a very simple pulse, pulse. He's lifting from the inside of his knee, his inner thighs working, his foot staying nice and pointed. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, after 10 or so pulses, come back to the fourth in plie. So you can then turn in a little to the bar. I'm going to have you take that lifted arm down to the bar to support you, and then shift your opposite leg attitude back. Mm -hmm, exactly. And he'll just do a little pulse, really activating gluteus muscles, which I know he's feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling. <laughs> Hamstrings, so great way to work the back body, doing anything in the back plane. Beautiful. And make sure the front knee stays right in line with the ankle. And then when you've done 10 or so, you can let that go. And just close in fifth. Beautiful. And then stretch, turn back to face side. And from here, we're going right into the second position. A little more of like a grand plie effect here, so you can get a little bit deeper into your second. And we'll do the same thing with quarter bra arm. You're just kind of diving back into the plie. Mm-hmm. And reverse the corner bra. And the next time he comes up with his arm, I'm gonna ask him to hold it there. Good. Keep one hand at the bar for now. Lift both your heels so you're in a relative and just balance. And I'm gonna leave the pulse for the second side. And if he wants, he can challenge himself, taking both arms up. And then when he's ready, he releases. Back heels down. Transfer the weight to your left foot so you can find those baby attitudes on a plie out to the side. Exactly. And notice how he's still turned out here in his standing foot. He's getting nice and long through the front of the ankle. Great. And when he's ready to be done pulsing, he's going to come into posse. Straight leg. And just breathe there for three, two, one. I know it's a lot of work for your hip flexor. Mm -hmm. Find Susu, fifth on releve. Turn around so you can do the other side. And release. So we'll go through it a little bit faster. This is just the marking through it round before we actually do it. So arm a la seconde. Slow for three, one, two, Three and demi plie. So this is Tom Yu, a la second. Doing three of them with the plie in between each. Three and plie. Two, three and plie. Beautiful. Now double time. One, two, three, plie. One, 
two, three, plie. One, two, three, plie. One, two, three, plie. Beautiful. Now take it to fourth position. And you're going to find the plie. It's a demi plie because the heels are down. And a little bounce, a little pulse as you work port de bras with the arm. And what will tend to happen in this position is that this back knee likes to kind of hang forward. So we work really hard to maintain the external rotation in the thighs and the equality of weight in the feet. And then when you're ready, straighten the legs. And let's find our 10 relevés from straight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then add a plie to the relevé here. Mm -hmm. He's going to work on really driving his heel up as high as possible as the weight roots into his big toe ball mount. And that's where a lot of his work is here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then next time your arm comes up, just leave it up there. Transfer your weight into your back foot so you can find your baby attitude. You can come flat with the foot. Yeah, I'm excited. We'll keep it yeah. flat. Beautiful. And then just pulse. He could also do relevé here if he wanted to go more advanced. Mm -hmm. That's what we were doing when we practiced together. But this is plenty of work right here. And it's subtle, right? He's just finding a little bit from here. Like if I had a string attached to the inside of his knee, and that was the work. It's not that he's really kicking. He's just minutely lifting. Good. And then switch it to the other side. So you turn in. Yeah. And that's a nice break for that hip flexor. And here's his baby attitude. So he's doing a nice job keeping the inner thigh here really lifted and open. Mm -hmm. His back muscles are majorly turned on. His core to help protect his spine as he works. Beautiful. When he's done pulsing there, you can get the 10, even 20. He'll close. Find a little plie to restore the muscles and then take it out to second position. Plie, pulsing, so same idea. We'll just work the port de bras. We can just do one for this marking side. Good. And then when he's ready, we didn't do it on the first side, so we'll do it on this side. Relevé. At least I don't think we did. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it, plie. Now he can keep his hand at the bar if he likes. Take one arm up and pulse here. But he's just going to go for the full inch of legs. He's awesome like that. Mm -hmm. It feels beautiful. There it is. For three, two, one. Find the bar. Good. Release the heels down. Straighten the legs. Just take a breath. Now you're going to shift your weight onto your inside leg to do the baby attitudes all the second. Mm hmm Great. And that's 10, 20 pulses. Whatever you feel like you have energy for. Go ahead and close it to fifth. Susu. Turn around. And release. Take a deep breath. So that's the sequence. We're going to just go through it now, like, you know, right. keeping it as clean and smooth and rhythmic as possible. So if you're listening to music at home, stay on the beat. Practice your musicality and coordination. Really important also to get the cardio effect, because you definitely feel your heart working a little harder now. Yes. <laughs> Good. Wonderful. So take a deep breath. I'm going to take the arm forward, out to the side, tendu, and go for it. Two, three, plie, tendu. One, two, three, and plie, tendu. Back, two, three, and plie to the 
side. Two, three, and plie. Double time. That's one, two, three, plie. One, two, three. Beautiful. Keep going. Plie and relax the arm as well. Take it forward to find your fourth position. Demi plie, little pulse, little pulse as you work quarter bra with your outside arm. And then you keep the heels really nice and grounded as much as possible. Good. And reverse. Building the heat. And then find straight legs. Releve for 10. In the big toes. Good. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up there. Find a plie with the releve. Work the back knee out wide. Beautiful. And pulse. Mm -hmm. Nice. Take your outside arm up and overhead just to prepare you for when you're ready to shift your weight into your back foot. And you can keep it on releve or you can take it flat. But we're going to go for the baby attitude. So however you want to take that. Notice how he shifts his weight in a little bit. So he stays right over his center. Beautiful. And then he comes in with the releve. So this is just an option. Bring a little more advanced technique and heat in. Beautiful. For three, two, one. And then shift through fourth, actually. So you can come into the other side. Beautiful. And then turn in a little on the diagonal. Baby attitudes back. So be thinking about really lifting from this inner thigh here. Mm -hmm. And then option for a little more. And then bring the weight into the big toe ball. Do you feel the difference when you do that? Yes. You protect to maintain the integrity of your outer ankle joint when you do that too. Yes. And then whenever you're ready, close it in with it. Actually, and just demi plie for a little breather. Nice. And then coming out to second position. Beautiful. Find your plie, and you're just going to hold and pulse there. Notice that his turnout is what's natural for him. It's healthy. He's not forcing it. He's not tweaking his knee joints. This is really important in ballet sculpt. Yes, we want to have bodies that look like ballerinas. Sure, we want to move gracefully and effortlessly, but we don't want to have to replace our hip or blow our knee out, you know, at the young age of 25, 35, even 45. So we just work within the range that's healthy for us. Nothing too extreme, too crazy. Okay, and then straighten the legs. Let's take the arm up, just because it's nice to shift. Up for releve 10.
imprint them in your brain. One more slow. And plie double time. Three, two, one. Plie. Three, two, one. Plie. Three, two, one. And plie. Three, two, one. And plie. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Good. He knows where he's going. He's going to four. Nice. And find his plie. Take a little bit longer. There you go. And go for it. Little plie pulses with the port of her arm working. Whichever direction. And then you'll reverse. Good. Such a great way to really warm up and prepare the legs. Study plies. Another legs as well. Good. Straighten the legs. That's how you take your arm overhead to help you find some of this upward energy for releve. And ten. Roll inner thighs forward. Feel like you're constantly lengthening up and out of your pelvic bowl as your feet drive down through the big toe ball mounts. And then on the 10th one, you hold it, find the plie with the releve. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you find it where it works for you, where you can be in your technique. Beautiful. And he doesn't have to stay here long because he knows he's going to the baby attitude lifts. So when he's ready, he's going to shift his weight so he's more centered over his standing leg. And he can be flat. He can also try coming up to the releve. And even a little more subtle here with these limbs, just tiny little micro movements even. And then close into the fourth and turn in. Take your hand to the bar to support you. Great. And it's fine to let the upper body come forward a little bit. That helps ease off the low back. Just whatever you need. Let's take a really nice and pointy here. Yeah. Beautiful. Last five or so. Good. And then he's just going to close and take a deep breath because he needs it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Point out to the second and find your plie. But technically, this could even be grand plie. And second, the heels stay grounded for grand plie. And just a little bounce as you pour the water on your arm. Stretch the legs and releve for 10, which is also really not easy in second position. You have a lot of space between your feet, so even more important to find the strength and the lift up through the inner lines of the legs. And after 10 or so, hold, plie. And he can stay right here, he can pulse. He can balance hands off the bar. It's really up to you where you want to take this. Awesome. And then when ready, release, shift the weight so we're more centered over the standing leg. And we have our little attitudes to the side. Great. And remember, it's just subtle little movements, like if I even Try to take his pants here. And you kind of just like let me do the work for a second. And I'm just very subtly lifting him. Good. Now on this side, let's do the passe. When you're ready, you're just going to hold it. Arms up. Toward the knee, big toe. And knee out. Beautiful. And then close to Susu. And turn it around. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Take a plie, deep breath. Good. Nice. <laughs> so that is that section of the bar. We're going to just do one more kind of bigger movement with Brian, and that's going to conclude this teaser video number two, okay? So we'll do the one where we're facing the bar mm -hmm. and going back to undo a little lift, bigger lift, and then into a reverse plie. Okay, so he's going to start going tendu back on the right foot and then he's going to do a little baby lift, kind of like the area we were just working with in Ud 2. But now that he's warmer, he's ready to take the leg higher into his full arabesque position. And you'll see his upper body went forward a little bit. He's going to keep the shoulders back. Good. And make sure he's not overcrossing too much. And then he's going to come back to the baby lift to the tendu, à terre, to first and demi plié because it's always a nice reset. Tendu left leg, baby lift, bigger lift, back to baby lift, to tendu, to close, plié. So I'm gonna just do two more each side and a little more rhythmic. Point, lift, arabesque, lift, point, Close, plie, and point, lift, arabesque, lift, point, close, plie. One more time, right and left, tendu, arabesque, tendu, plie, tendu, arabesque, tendu, and plie. Take a breath. Now we'll find arabesque on the right leg. And there's an option here, you can have hands on the bar, you can also even bring forearms to the bar if it helps you just to feel a little more comfortable and open in your lower back. Great. Now just do little baby lifts with your arabesque. So we're getting really good gluteal work here. Even the hamstring, quad, all of it's working together. And now with the big toe, draw little circles, like as little and controlled and clean as you possibly can and see if you can maintain the height in the leg and then reverse the circles. Feeling it? Mm -hmm. Good. For three, two, and one, he closes and he plies. Beautiful. This is going to be your last move, Brian, and you're off the hook. <laughs> okay, take it into your arabesque. You can have hands on the bar or forearms. Great. Now just little lifts to start. Controlled, small, micro movements. Sometimes, you know, on camera, or if you've been watching the class, it doesn't look that hard, but then you put yourself in the body that's doing the movements. And you realize how challenging it actually really is to be repetitive and clean and consistent with your movements. So now draw the little circles. We do both directions. And make sure that you're not collapsing your weight into your standing knee at all. And reverse. Last five, four, three, two, one, close, and plie. And then I'm going to have Brian just do his down dog at the bar. So feet parallel, he gets to stretch it out and melt the heart. Should feel really nice for him right now. And you can bend one knee, bend the other, and that gets really nice hip, upper glute stretch. Beautiful. So this concludes Ballet Scope teaser video two. Uh, like I said, you can layer this one after the first one I put out, and that will give you probably a good, I don't know, a good majority of the workout mm -hmm. in and of itself there, just basically focusing on the ballet section. So thank you, Brian. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. Namaste. Namaste. Happy dancing! <laughs>